girl Mila B and welcome back to another video. So today we are talking about cartwheel. These are some drills that I have my athletes practice all the time to get a cartwheel. So without further ado, let's go get into it. So the first drill that I always introduce when athletes are learning a cartwheel is basically a seesaw. <laughs> This sounds super crazy, but I, I put a cone or a focal point in front of them. I make them hold Mr. Noodle, and they literally have to touch Mr. Noodle to the cone for one second, and as their back leg goes down, their chest comes up. If your athlete is not able to get their chest up, then the cartwheel itself is going to be super hard for your athlete. So I always want them to master this and get used to this feeling before we actually start learning the cartwheel. Once the athlete has mastered getting your chest up, I then introduce a mat. I put a square mat right in front of them. This mat is where their hands will go. And I teach them to walk across, literally walk across. So they can learn what foot lands first, what foot lands in the back, and so they can properly get their chest up. Once the athlete is able to walk across, I then want them to start learning to hold themselves up with straight arms, straight, strong arms. So I introduce a little baby hop over. By introducing a baby hop, it's allowing the athlete to not only start gaining muscle in their arms, but it's allowing the athlete to really feel just how much they weigh and just how heavy they are. Because if they can't hold themselves up, how are they supposed to do a cartwheel when you have to literally kick and hold yourself up in the middle of it? And we do not want anyone to kiss the mat at all. <laughs> And we don't want any face plants. So by starting a little baby hop really starts to get them to understand I have to put weight in my hands and hold myself up. Once the athlete understands a baby hop, we are then kicking. I want them to think of making a rainbow with their feet. A lot of first time athletes that are learning a cartwheel will love to kick around town. And by doing so, they're not really putting any weight into their hands to hold themselves up, which then will let you as the coach know that they just need to do some more arm strengthening drills to be able to hold themselves up. But I always like to paint the picture of the athlete's feet making a rainbow instead of making a U. The next drill will be used with hula hoops. Guys, I love hula hoops and cartwheels. You can literally set the hula hoops up how Ever you want. You can put one foot in the hula hoop, one foot out, hands go in the middle, laying your front foot in the hula hoop, your back foot. You can do put your hands in a hula hoop and laying your front foot in the hula hoop, the second hula hoop and laying your back foot out. I mean, I love using hula hoops and just props in general to really get the athlete to understand where your hands go and where your feet goes. So hula hoops will be a great, great, great transition from the mat to the ground. And after they have mastered the transition from the mat to the ground and they are able to do a perfect and flawless cartwheel in those hula hoops, remove them and just watch them go on the ground. I love teaching cartwheels. For me, it's one of the easiest skills to teach and I just love when athletes get that cartwheel and their eyes light up because they're able to do it. So these are some safe and at home drills that you can do. As always, we do want a parent or guardian present or knowing that you're practicing because we do not want any injuries. So you already know what to do. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna catch you in my next video.